Donald Trump has the nation and the world talking about his latest controversial demand. He's calling for all Muslims to be temporarily banned from entry in the United States. There is condemnation in Washington from both Democrats and Republicans. Meanwhile, there is major concern among some Muslims in America as fears of a backlash become reality. Lindsay Sievert has more on the push for a more open dialogue to address this problem. At the University of St. Thomas, midday prayers are lifted beyond a college built on Catholic faith. There's a shared commonality in believing in God, and they're very accepting of Muslims. Juniors Ayan Ahmed and Mazer Muhammad point to Muslim prayer space and prayer washing stations within a Christian campus. We're humans just like everybody else. And wish that acceptance could carry across the Twin Cities. When you take a first glance at me, you, you can't really tell that I'm a Muslim or not. It's kind of like ambiguous, but when you see somebody like Ayan, it's like... It's kind of like a walking target, perhaps. I do feel that people look at me differently. Very polarizing environment right now. Concerned, the Council on American-Islamic Relations just sent a letter to the Department of Education asking Minnesota principals and teachers be vigilant of an uptick of harassment and bullying among Muslim students. We are monitoring a number of these incidents. We had a young girl who reported to us just a few days ago that somebody tried to drive her off the road. Executive Director uh, Jaylani Hussein calls for parents to begin conversations Conversations. And this nation is built on freedom of religion, and we cannot allow for this type of uh, bigotry rhetoric. I think it's about time like, that we learn from history. Allah Akbar. Seeing liberty in action, these students believe education fights fear. Allah Akbar. The director went on to say that Trump's statement could tarnish the image of the American people and take us back to a dark place in society. Let's get a first.